So, um, I didn't see this coming. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Not a perfect game, not a good game, but the game that might save me. I don't know, I've seen that sounding way cooler in my head. This game might be the game to make me feel a lot better about playing all the other games that I have been playing. Good old Tundra. Oh, baby, me and a Tundra, we had good times over here on Cold War. Let, let's go ahead and play a game. I never played a game of Cold War on the PS5 yet. All my experiences have been on the PS4, so we're gonna try it out and just see how we feel about it. By the way, we switched some things over. I was just saying to myself, I was like, yo, this shit's smack fucking complicated i gotta keep twisting and turning and shit what you guys seen was over there you guys seen this view and with the keyboard and shit and i kept getting distracted when i was editing looking at the colors it was too much so to save myself i'm just going to make a regular video it's currently one o'clock on the dot i have to start getting ready to work so if this game loads up i'm gonna get my work recording this i gotta run out to work i know what you guys might be saying plus why are you doing everything in such a hurry if you have to go now to that i say hey man you know, sometimes in life, you gotta work. Do I like working? No, not at all. But I have to do it in order to afford the things that I like doing. Is the game starting? Oh, it's almost starting. Okay, but anyway, anyway like I'm saying, I have to do it in order to do the things that I like doing. In order to do those things, I have to work. And then when you work, you know, obviously bills come into play and blah, blah, blah. We all know how the story goes. Our parents tell us it all the time. All right, now that that's ready, when I'm done, I can just go and get ready. This shit is soft as fuck. This is not okay at all. I, I mean, hey, I'm fucking trash, but I do miss the sniping. Then again, I had an entire year to get used to this game and shit, so I mean, it, there's that i'm not gonna be one of those people to sit here and be like man cold war wasn't that bad i've always said cold war wasn't that bad dude i have video proof of it other people were like oh man i've always said it when we know they didn't say that shit but me i actually have videos on my channel of me saying that i never had a problem with cold war when they had little issues i addressed them but i never said this was a bad game overall <laughs> yeah i'm not looking forward to work today i'm ready to get fired quit or something I, I know i need the job i just i'm just not happy there i don't know what it is i, I know that sounds so fucking depressing i'm just i don't know i'm just not happy there no people are gonna say oh in life you're not gonna be happy all the time what you gotta do what you gotta do but i feel like i'm at the age where i should start doing things to make me happy so i don't start that pattern i don't know i've been looking for other jobs you know something outside of food um i don't know maybe i will go ahead and try to get another job and then quit the other job if the other job that i want to get comes through if not and eh, I have no choice but to, you know, say okay on that one. But hey, you never know. That's the one thing Cold War did right consistently all throughout the year. They sat here and they didn't take away Nuketown. No matter what, maybe one or two playlists without it. If I'm not mistaken, other than that, I'm pretty sure whenever Nuketown was out, they kept this shit on the entire year. They learned after Modern Warfare's mistake of every time shipment wasn't around, how the player base dropped immensely. I remember making a handful of videos literally just sitting in the main menu just because shipment wasn't around. And in Cold War, they made sure they didn't do that. They made sure Nuketown was around 24-7. They made literally made Nuke for 24-7 a 24-7 thing all around the year. And I do respect them for that. Probably my, my last video on it for like a couple weeks or a couple months. I mean, depending on how it does. If people want plus, you know, Cold War back, I, I'll bring that shit back. I know that's what Stodgy's been doing, or he was doing it for a little while. Like, people preferred his Cold War shit over his Vanguard shit. And that's not because of him. That's just because of, like, you know, people just prefer just other shit besides Vanguard right now, which I completely understand. My Modern Warfare video is doing crazy good right now, but I'm not gonna be playing Modern Warfare. Matter of fact, I probably should. I can't though, I can't, it's nauseating. I mean, it's not nauseating, it's not bad. It's just a, a round three of Modern Warfare. A third year of that shit is just, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do you have, the M82? Did I ever get, I don't think I ever unlocked um, anything for this gun. Ah, fuck. Oh. Oh. All right. I gotta get a haircut Friday. I just realized that. It's growing back a little. It's not growing back much. I just got it. Not this past... When did I get an haircut? I'm not gonna get one this week. I'll get it Monday. I'm trying to get it every other week to just be on top of it. And it's cheaper if you're on top of it. Like the least hair they have, at least my barber goes by that. Like the least hair he has to cut, the least he'll charge. So with this shit, there's gonna be barely hair to cut. And then it's really just giving me a shape up. So they'll probably give me shape up price. So that's 
that's pretty good. The more you maintain it, the cheaper it'll be. So it gives me a little bit of an incentive to do that. I don't know how I feel about this game. I mean, it's something. Lifetime level prestige was 18. I really grinded. I remember season, was it season two? I think it was season two I got hacked. And the season one, it was a good season. I really grinded that season. That was like right after I got uh, let go at my job. So I end up just grinding my ass off and uploading on the channel like crazy. And I remember Cyberpunk, uh, that was something. So <laughs> we end up, after playing that, we end up going crazy on here. Season two, my account got hacked. So I stopped playing for a long ass time. Season three, I called it uh what did i call season three i called season three like a like a redemption season because since i only got level 77 here i was like you know what i'm gonna really grind my ass off season three so to make up what i lost in season two season four i ended up getting level 145 nothing crazy i was kind of over the game by season four season five i found a little bit of love for the game but i was also doing other shit on the channel so i really so i really only played from time to time season six i leveled up a little bit because i was like all right let me at least get to prestige 15 by the end of the season good season dude holy shit and now here we are season one i'm only level 68 well, i'm not gonna top my season one from gold war at all i hope i do that would be cool but i doubt it i was really into the uh prestiging system in in cold war 2 not the system itself but just more of the the prestige icons i was really into those so that was always my big thing trying to get those so that was my push i get can that be a push for vanguard does vanguard have any prestige icons if they do i that's what i might go for that's what might make me go back into the game because that's really what i've always cared about not cared about but that's just something i always kind of help me level up and help me grind was the prestige factor of everything but yeah that'll be it for me today hope you guys did enjoy this video let me know if you guys want more black ops cold war content and uh yeah peace